Shaber 1000 here. Today we're going to be doing some Corvette racing. Hopefully. Let's check this out. Okay guys, we got this um, Tyco Challenge 100 electric racing it's a race set we're not going to set it up real elaborate we're just going to kind of go in a circle here and uh we're going to see if this thing works this belonged to her dad i know these these old tycos are collectible um i'm not sure what what year this is from but i'll either put it at the bottom of the screen or in the link below um, so let's get this opened up. It has been opened because someone's got it taped up. So if it was factory sealed, I would never open it, but it's not. So let's go ahead. This old, this old knife here is just, it has nothing left. <laughs> it needs to be sharpened. Trying to be careful with it, don't want to cut the box. So, hopefully, it's all here. track layouts and how to put your tracks together, different cars, hopefully the cars are in here, there's one car, there's the other car, I don't know if this thing works, but we're going to find out, let's get some of this track out right here. <clears throat> Controllers out. Another piece of track. Okay. Okay, so let's move this out of the way. power cord here and of course like I said these are the controllers piston grips what these do is there's for one controller there's for another controller and here's the power pack so okay so how these go together And just clip in together here just like this and that's it that's how they go together okay so that's good so like I said we're just going to make we're just going to make a circle well an oval just like this we'll do the same thing this all right and let's put this over here um, it's like kind of it is. 11.02 at night. There's that. Hopefully this thing still works. 
we can get some exciting racing going on, right? Usually, on these slot car tracks, what happens is they'll get rusty and they don't want to work. Stuff like that. I wish I had all the track sets I had when I was a kid that I got for Christmas. The, uh, the old HO scale train sets and stuff like that. Let's look at one of the cars here. That's, that's what they look like. These brushes, uh, they look pretty clean, fairly clean. Uh, what we used to do is take a little an eraser off of a pencil and clean them up. And they just, they're also kind of like magnetic right here because of the motor and stuff. And that also keeps them on the track. So there's one Corvette. I couldn't get anyone to race with me, so I'm going to have to race by myself. So. Red and blue. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to bring an extension cord over here, and we're going to we're going to plug this in here. Okay. Okay. Now, or you do, you can't mess it up. There's only one way these will plug in because it's got that little. Oops, sorry. Little deal right there on it. Come on. So it's going to plug in. that uh oh there's something rattling in there well we'll see I don't know which one's which here but... oh and plug it in up here Gotta make sure the tracks are real good and tight on there. Okay, that one's working. Sounds like it needs a little oil. Which I'll get some more and clean it up. I'll clean these pads up here a little bit. That one sounds better than this one. Alright, let me get some oil and we'll put a drop of oil on these. Okay, and then we'll see if we can't get them to race. I may have to raise you up a little bit so I can get the whole track in, but hang tight, guys. Okay, guys, I've got them oiled up. I got the pads cleaned off. Okay, let's check the blue one. Check the red one. Alright, let's try to race them.
of something over there that you might have said I couldn't do it, but I'll show you now. so much fun guys well guys thanks for watching thanks for racing with me I really appreciate it had a great time this brought back memories the smell of the motors uh, when they get warmed up and right after you oil them just you know it's just all they've all had that smell the same way with the train sets um, it just burnt, brings back memories so guys with that being said Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Keep the rubber side down, guys. Bye-bye <laughs> and take care.